welcome friends to the another show of meditation the art of loving my name is swami anand krishna and i have got a very versatile guest named helen from all the way from australia she traveled for this show specially and i have not given her a ticket but she came <laughs> so helen i welcome you and please introduce the way you want yourself thank you so much baba krishna before i do that i would love to give this to you thank you and i'll be careful with thank you thank you thank you thank you very much thank you for having me it's okay. very exciting to be here so uh, as you said my name is helen callanan and i uh, have a a business in australia called preparing the way and i do two things in that business one is that i uh, provide education to people who want to support people at the end of life um, in their homes or in hospices and also I uh, have been practicing and teaching Reiki uh, for uh, tw 32 years now and so and I find they go beautifully together right. if you remember your past lives all pains sorrows or whatever it is then you won't be able to live this life so it is for us not to remember and don't go there are ways and means in meditation that you can go to past life very easily but if you live this life that's enough isn't it mm -hmm. why you want to go and dig the hole in your <laughs> this past life what else you can tell my audience mm -hmm. and me which when which will prepare us for the long journey sort well i think you know to me um and as you teach baba krishna you know the power of meditation the power of the breath and you know something that i'm seeing more because you know i'm from the west and where we can be a little bit you know closed minded whereas um you know from the east there's a much greater acceptance and in fact invitation to to explore you know the more spiritual side of life and be open and be available to discuss this with such professionals who can guide you how to live the body peacefully so that is in buddhist term they call it bardo you know in tibetan term bardo means how to prepare the soul to live peacefully this body and reborn in a way that that can be the last birth for that soul 